I'm a sneaky ninja. I'm a sneaky ninja. You can't see me. I'm gonna stab you in the net leg. Hello, everyone. I'm the Moy Chicken, and welcome back to more Ninja Warriors. In this episode, we are in the subway. The subway that has been shot many times with guns. Presumably from these guys. You shouldn't be shooting things. Oh no, it's a this. Just, it's a flamethrower. It's a, it's a fire breather for the escape from the circus. Why are you here, sir? Why are you here? Yes. So we, we are a ninja. We are a robot ninja, rather. Um, On the way to d depose the evil tyrant Banglar, who has pretty much ruined this country. <laughs> Banglar has pretty much destroyed the economy of this country through... I don't really know, actually. The game, game isn't very clear about what Banglar did. We just know that he is bad. The game told us he is bad. So we know that he is bad. And so our our father, our daddy Mulk, in fact, wink, um, built us, built us, uh, built three robots. And he's like, I, these guys, kill. How many of those guys did I just kill in a row? It's ridiculous. Um, yes, our daddy Mulk built three robots. And he's like, I'm just going to send these robots to go kill all of Mulk's subordinates and, or not all of uh, Banglar's subordinates. And it'll be great. And so that's what we're doing. We have we have we just have like a bunch of targets in our robot brain, and we are here to depose them. And now, a tank will happen. Oh, first this man. He's he's breathing very heavily. <laughs> he's he's quite tired. He's quite tired. He's he's got one of those uh one of those outfits on, which is like what do you call that? Like a, like a training outfit, but it's got the springs, and he's just exhausted. He's been walking around all day. He's like, I'm really tired. I'm really tired. This thing's very difficult to wear. Where's the tank? I thought there was a tank here. Is, is it different? Is it a different point in the game? Maybe I already did the tank thing. There's a part where a tank goes through a wall, but I can't remember what it is. Maybe I already did that. Whatever. Hi there, throw. I gotta, I gotta get killed. <laughs> this gonna sound strange, but I gotta get killed at some point so I can use a new character. I want you all to get to see the other characters too, because there's there are three characters and they all fight very differently. So. Kunoichi here is the uh, mix between the two. She's like, she's like the standard character, you know. She's the Mario, um, and she's got a lot going for. Her. I mean, she's she's very functional, but she is pretty ordinary. Um, and then you have Ninja. Yes, the robot Ninja is just named Ninja, and uh, he's the heavy character. Like he can't jump, but he can do all kinds of like grapples and throws and stuff. It's really cool. And then the third one is named Kamaitachi, and he is uh, the speedy guy character, and um, he's also kind of scary. He's like a he's like a robot spider sort of. He's a little he's a little scary. I wouldn't like of the three. I think he's the one I would be most afraid to see in the in a dark alley, because um, like Kunoichi here pretty much looks like a person. Like clearly they wanted her to look like a person. But the other two are just robots. <laughs> The other two are pretty much just humanoid robots. They they didn't really try very much in terms of the looks department with those two. Ninja's just like a giant robot and Kamai Look! It's men! Men dressed nicely! We are at a mall, so I guess these guys are just... These guys are escaped from H&M. <laughs> They're like, we are here to take you to Brooks Brothers! You can't afford it! You'll never be able to afford it! You might try to buy a tie or something, but it will put you out one salary. <laughs> Can you afford the Brooks Brothers? <laughs> Ow! Bro! <laughs> just like, he just facepalmed me several times. Not like a facepalm in the sense of, you know, I did something stupid, but more facepalm in the sense of he hit me in the face with his palm. And it hurt, even though I am a robot. Even though I am a, a, a robot with robot boobs. Also, televisions. At Banglar! Look how cool this is! We're fighting an invisible guy! Ow! Ow! He just stabbed the heck out of me! Blow up! Hey, <laughs> look at these wiggle deaths. He drops bombs. He drops bombs. And I cut him a lot. <laughs> Some of those little jig while he's up on the wall is hilarious. Ah, oh, dang it, he blocked. Don't block. Don't do that. Oh, I was dead, that's a problem. So from what I understand, in the uh, original arcade version of this, um, as you took damage, you would actually lose, like, 
parts of your outfit or something. Like you'd lose your appearance would change, and like the your robotic. Up oh, here we go. Oh, blip, blip. I'm dead. I blow it up. All right, so we get to use a new character. I was just saying I want to. So I think we will use Kamaitachi. Kamaitachi, six foot seven. This dude is six foot eight nine. He's gigantorous and he weighs 1,500 pounds. All right, cool, we'll go with Kamai Tachi. So Kamai Tachi's all about mobility. He's all like... Chik -chik 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 -chik. Like he can, they can all still lift a giant stone bench like it's not a big deal, but Kamai Tachi's definitely about the speed. He's got like blades and he's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Blow up! Step, 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 step. Well, that's not really a stab, it's more of a slash, but you know what I mean. Oh, speaking of the, um... Speaking before of the remake, um... Uh, or rather, they're speaking of that in the last episode. Um, one of the things the remake did that was pretty cool is they added a lot more moves for the characters, and they added a lot more frames to the animation. So, one of the things about the remake that made it really, uh, feel, uh, like, like, I, one thing I really approved of, basically, is that they, it seems like what they did was they took the sprites from this game as a base, and just, like, added more frames to the various animations, and made certain movements and stuff more fluid. And that's, I think, what makes it feel so accurate, and I like that a lot. It's one of the things I really approved of in the uh, remake, is that they just used... It's like they used this game as a, as a template and just kind of, like, made it run smoother. That's neat. I like that. Um, but yeah, Kamaitachi is all about the, about the slashies and the stabbies, and he's very quick and all that. You can do this. It's important to know that. Hi there. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> We're both kind of creepers, honestly. <laughs> We're both creepy guys. But I'm creepier. I'm creepier. For I am Kamaitachi. Yes. Yes, I will make you explode. Ah. Ah. Blow up. So something kind of funny is that, like, with all of the robots, their, like, blaster power, which is their, like, super move, um, shows, like, a, a ninja weapon. So, like, with, uh, with this guy, it's a, what is it, Kusarigama, I think is what it's called, the, the chain and sickle thing. Um, but they all have, like, the same motion, it just explodes. So, I don't know why it shows, like, a ninja weapon. It seems like a mystery to me. Uh, it's very odd. Very odd. All right, um, we're kind of up against time. Uh, I'll do. I'll try to do one more level. So now we are in a new location, where there is popping monkey man, and more of these guys. These poor men. There's so many of them. So many of Banglar's forces are just like regular dudes that you just stab once and they die. I mean, admittedly, you're getting hit in the face with like a sickle blade. I think most people would probably go down, but it is kind of pathetic in a video game. I mean, they just go down so easily. I actually wonder if, um, in hard mode, maybe they hold up better. I'm not really sure. And now we appear to be in Miami, I guess? <laughs> There's spotlights and missiles and barbed wire. I think one of the things I really liked about this game is the, um the setting, you know? Like, uh, because th the whole premise is that it's like a modern day, well, at least close to modern day world, but sort of like ruined economically. And so there's like all these things that are, uh, indicative of the idea. Like we were just in, a, you know, a, a dead mall with like bullet holes in the, uh, the train getting there. Um, also that is a very helpful move, what I was just doing, the little hoppy thing. It's basically this guy, one of his his throw, is he just kind of like bounces off of people. Very helpful. Um, you could do a thing where you like... Is it, maybe it's not everybody. 
I, I know at the very least that Kunoichi can, like, jump off of people. So, like, if she jumps at someone and then, like, jumps again when she strikes their head, she will actually, like, jump off of them. Once again, all the robots fight differently, which is cool. Um, but yeah, they just did a really good job of, like, creating this environment where... Oh, this is the tank. Where's the tank? Come on, tank. Yeah, here it comes. Bam! There's a tank. I remember there was a tank. It's like a Sherman tank, even. <laughs> um... They just did a good job of making, like, a destroyed and destroyed, like, urban environment. I really like it. I think it's done very well. So, yeah. I, I, I have definitely been wanting to play this game for a while. And, like, a large... Honestly, a large part of what made me take a while to get around to playing it was that I just couldn't decide if I wanted to play the, uh... Wanted to play the remake of the original. And I went, I went with the original because... Mostly because I feel like it's the one that would be harder to get your hands on. Really. That's all it comes down to. Oh, this is the cool part. Yeah, so you have to, like, hide behind the pillars because that, uh... The pillars in the cars because that, um... Helicopter keeps coming around. And if it sees you, it will shoot you. When's it gonna do it? Ow, dude. Another kind of fun thing about this game is that... A lot of the, uh, a lot of the bosses you fight are human, so you really are a Terminator. <laughs> you really are going around being a Terminator for all of these, these people. But it, it's it's sort of like a Terminator story, where the Terminator's the good guy, but the Terminator still acts like the Terminator from the first movie. You know, it's like where it's it, it's it's not like you know Terminator Two where. You know, it's not gonna give a thumbs up in lava. It's it's just like uh it's still like a cold emotionless robot it's just being used to kill criminals. It's a very odd kind of concept. Uh, but I like it. I actually want that was a, that was something I I was thinking about. I wanted to do a a, a like graphic novelization of this game where um it was like told from the perspective primarily from the perspective of the villains, because the protagonists don't speak, and so, uh, you would, like, um, like, the whole story would be, like, this kind of Terminator-esque story where you were trying, where the, uh, the bad guys are basically trying to, uh, uh, avoid getting killed, and the robots were just, like, relentless. I don't know, I think it could be really neat, but... Just another one of my many pipe dreams that I may never get around to doing. <laughs> I have a lot of those. I have so many good ideas that I can't follow through. <laughs> and now we will fight Scottish Man! Scottish Man secretly has satellite connections! <laughs> I like this guy, because really all he can do is whack you with his shillelagh. Well, is it? I suppose it's not a shillelagh if he's Scottish, is it? Because he's clearly wearing like a tan on his head. So I guess he's Scottish. But he's got, like, a, a shillelagh. And he just, like, summons dudes and hits you with his shillelagh. Like, he'll, he'll, yeah, he'll, he'll do this. He'll, like, summon, like, lasers from space. It's really cool. I don't know, it's, it's, it's just a, this neat concept of, like, a, he's like a crime boss who doesn't want to fight, you know, robots. But he needs to get the job done. And so he just summons other dudes to do his fighting for him. Or he summons a laser from space, you know? It's cool, and then if he if he really needs to get down to it, he can still whack a dude with a stick. It's neat. I like it. I like it, okay? I like this game a lot. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hello. I am almost dead. Almost dead. Can I beat him before I die? Alright. Blow up! Yes! <laughs> Stage 4 target destroyed! Mission complete. That's gonna be it for this episode. I am the Moy Chicken. This has been Ninja Warriors. That dude is dead. Thanks for stopping by.